This is Twit. I wonder if you could kind of walk us through the world of meteor showers because it's 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 an amazing uh, reason to get out of the city, get to dark skies if you can find them, and do some constellation spotting. And while you're at it, enjoy some meteors coming in. And and there's a couple of good ones every year that I'm sure you know all about. Right, right. Well, we just had one of the one of the better ones, the quadranted meteor shower, named after an obsolete constellation quadrans muralis which was dropped by the iau uh, but the best Aww. meteor shower of the year the most popular one happens every year around august 12th the perseid meteor shower and that uh, meteor showers happen when the earth going around the sun at sixty-seven thousand miles an hour goes through a swarm of little particles left behind by some comet and there are a lot of these streams of comet debris in the earth's path but one of the heaviest ones we go through every year in august and um, so the morning of the 12th, the morning of the 13th, morning of the 14th of August every year, especially if the moon is out of the way, great time to set up a lawn chair, uh, dress warmer than you think necessary because there's not much physical activity involved in meteor watching. Um, the, the Perseid meteors are best after midnight. So what I like to do is go out at like 2.30 in the morning and see if I can make it to dawn. Um, plus, while the Perseid meteor shower is going on, the Pleiades are rising in the east, followed by the brilliant stars of Orion. So you have a spectacular sky as a backdrop. Plus, in 2024, the moon will be setting about midnight, so it'll be out of the way. But we're also going to have a close conjunction of the planets Mars and Jupiter in that Orion region, adding still more interest to the sky. So I like to say the 2024 Perseid meteor shower is the second most impressive sky event we can look forward to in 2024 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. after the eclipse. So I mentioned this on the show before, but I was uh, fortunate enough completely by accident to see the Leonids in 1966 when we had that big meteor storm at that point. Um, when is that likely or possible to come back again. I've lost track of the loops. That's a, a that's a 33 year cycle, I believe. So it was yeah. it was heavy in the late 90s. And then we got to wait and see what happens in the 2030s. It's pretty weak right now. Mm -hmm. So I like to say the three strongest meteor showers are the Perseids in August. And then you have uh, uh, the Geminids in December, the Quadrantids in January. For most people, December and January are not attractive times to go outside and <laughs> contemplate. Maybe in Southern California, but in a lot of, you know, our Northeastern type places, you wouldn't think of going outside for fun in the middle of the night in December and January. So it tends to boil down to the Perseids. But there are many other meteor showers. I mean, technically, to, for a hardcore meteor expert, a meteor shower is any time when we are seeing multiple meteors from the same parent object in the sky at the same time. So it could be only a few all night, but they are related objects. So that's significant. 